Indonesia promises a greener future. But behind the headlines, it's new rupee TL. 2025 to 2034, the National Power Plan tells a very different story. While the government speaks of renewables and climate ambition, the actual numbers reveal a system still dominated by coal and gas. This is the gap between green talk and grey reality. The rupee TL sets out Indonesia's electricity roadmap for the next decade outlining where new power will come from and how fast renewables will grow. On paper, the plan targets a renewable energy share of 28% by 2034. But according to new analysis from the Center for Research on Energy and Clean Air, CREA, the reality is far less ambitious. Over 60% of new capacity through 2034 is still expected to come from coal and gas. The phrase fossils first Renewables later defines this plan. Indonesia plans to keep building gas and coal plants while delaying the scale-up of renewables until the 2030. This approach not only slows down the clean energy transition, it risks locking in fossil dependence for decades. Despite being Southeast Asia's largest emitter, Indonesia still prioritizes fossil expansion over immediate decarbonization. The consequences are serious. Every new coal or gas plant means higher emissions, stranded assets, and missed investment in renewables. The CREA report warns that this plan could make Indonesia's net zero 2060 goal almost impossible to achieve. Worse, it keeps electricity prices exposed to global fuel volatility, while solar and wind costs continue to fall sharply. Indonesia has enormous renewable potential from solar rooftops and hydropower to geothermal energy. Many of these resources could already deliver cheaper power than new fossil plants. Yet slow regulations, limited grid investment, and continued fossil subsidies hold progress back. Instead of accelerating renewables, RUPTL delays them creating a lost decade for Indonesia's energy transition. Experts say Indonesia can still course correct. By phasing out coal earlier, reducing fossil subsidies, and investing in modern grids and storage, the country could rapidly scale up renewables and secure a more affordable and resilient power system. But time is running out. Every new fossil project today pushes the clean transition further away. Indonesia's Rupee TL 2025 to 2034 may sound green, but its core remains grey. As the world moves toward renewables, Indonesia risks being left behind paying more for power and missing its climate targets. The country's energy future will depend on whether it chooses fossils first or finally commits to renewables now.